the 66 yard pass to Doug. What's that mm -hmm. play called? What's that play called? Yeah. I can't tell you what the play is called. That's going to be the point of that. <laughs> well, okay, but I mean, just talk us through the progression there. Because uh, Marta said you guys haven't been clicking on all these weekend practice on that play. Yeah, actually, that, that play was not working uh, during practice, which is kind of funny how some of these things work out when you get to a game and you kind of laugh about it. Um, it's not funny if they don't happen in practice or in the game, but it's funny now. But, uh, you know, we were able to, you know, get great protection. That's where it starts. If there's not protection on those plays, you just throw out the window. It's not going to work. So that's where it all starts and, and that's kind of where it ends. Because after that, you know, it's just we have, as skilled players, have to, you know, quarterbacks throw the ball down the field, give those guys a chance to get under it. And then they did a great job of catching it and running with it afterwards. What's the feeling like when offense in the first quarter was pretty much perfect. What's that feeling like? I mean, it's it's definitely a confidence builder, especially, um, you know, guys who have had experience, it's still great. And then for the young guys, it's really, I think, where the, um, that can, you know, be a huge factor throughout a ball game. You know, those young offensive linemen, uh, even the running backs, they're still young. They can see that we're moving the ball well and we can do certain things, and then they'll build confidence and, and keep those things going, hopefully. And, uh, you know, you can keep scoring on each possession if we can, you know, not get complacent and relax at any moment. Ricky, is there a feel in that locker room like something really special?